What's going on guys, it's your boy Kev and welcome back to the number one commentary channel in the world. How are you all feeling today? As always, I am feeling great. Thank you for asking. Okay. David Dobrik versus PewDiePie. We all know David Dobrik, the famous vlog guy who is known for his wholesome personality, but in reality he has a personality based on a fake laugh that he activates every 10 seconds. <laughs> 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 Yeah! Why fake laugh, you may ask? Well, because someone called Seth, a former member of the vlog squad made by David himself, has come out clean and said that David would straight up redo certain clips and pretend to laugh. Seth is also the same guy who has come out to expose David Dobrik for not being as wholesome as the internet may claim he is. According to Seth, who went on the H3 podcast with Ethan Klein, he was treated really badly and tricked into kissing a guy who was like, what, 20 years older than himself? Well, let me be more precise. He was tricked into making out with a guy who was like 20 years older than himself. Yeah, funny way to prank your friend, guys. Seth has come out to say that this video has had a really negative impact on his life and it really made him question his own sexuality, which is understandable because, like, making out with a guy as a guy does that to you. <laughs> He's even claimed that people would look at him weirdly and he would feel judged all the time. You would probably think that it would be easy for him to just ask David if he could take down the video, but it turns out that David didn't want the video to get taken down because it was so popular. No, instead he offered Seth money to keep the video up. Really goes to show how much of a true friend David Dobrik is. So David is choosing to keep a video up that got popular because he sexually assaulted his friend for views and now he's refusing to take it down when he's asked to do so. And on top of that, they pulled the same prank again. Again, can you believe this? In my opinion, I've always gotten this bad vibe from David and this goes for almost any vlogger who is from LA. It's almost as if when you move to LA, you slowly turn into this arrogant Jake Paul kind of person. So if there's anyone watching this right now and dream about becoming a vlogger, take my advice and stay away from LA. Gosh, it really reminds me of the fact that you have to share the same city with people like the Sway Boys. If there are someone I really dislike, it's Bryce Hall and his Sway Boys. They're just perfect examples of your average LA boys who got famous on TikTok. Talk. Could you seriously imagine hanging out with the Sway Boys or the Vlog Squad? You just know for a fact they're the type of people to make a post about Black Lives Matter and not really give a damn about it, but would rather just do it for internet points. Anyway, PewDiePie also agrees on the fact that David Dobrik is giving off a wrong vibe. I don't know much about David, but I, he always get like, I could be wrong, but my, my radar flicks up a bit. I, I kind of got the same feeling about him as I got a Logan Paul when he was not everyone hated Logan Paul. Like, don't get me wrong, his videos are really entertaining. Uh, but uh, he always gave me that weird like, wait, how does he... How is he able to get away with all this shit? Like, he's doing so much weird shit. Like, if I did that, if I did that, I'd be cancelled. If I did that, I'd get cancelled. What the f How is he doing it? What is that magic sauce? I totally agree with PewDiePie. Why are people ignoring this? David Dobrik is literally on a no bullying tour campaign. Whatever you want to call it. I mean, that's equal to sending Shane Dawson to a no molesting campaign. Oh, and then there's also this racist moment from one of his videos that he has decided to take down. Oh, look, it's a Japanese food. We're trying. Boy, bong, dong, dong, no. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, there we go. First, we're starting off with the No! It's not racist. That's like the sounds I hear when they talk. No, it's not racist as long as I keep saying no. Do I think it's racist? Uh, I personally don't think it was racist as in he hates Asian people, but he clearly knows it's wrong and he still chooses to make fun of race over and over again. As I said, I don't think David is racist. It's just a problem when he has such a big platform and when you're able to pull millions of viewers on each video, you sure are going to impact your viewers in one way or another. But back to the PewDiePie thing, he talks about how David Dobrik is giving off the same vibes as Logan Paul gave back when he was doing his vlogs. A very arrogant style, but the thing about Logan Paul is that he has matured and he's actually a very very likable person now. Maybe David just needs to mature more? I mean, he does seem somewhat mature if you look at him as this wholesome guy, but looking at the situation right now that includes sexual assault, he definitely needs to own up to his own actions. We haven't even heard from David yet and it's been quite a while ever since this story broke the news. I always say that I'm not a big fan of cancel culture, which is pretty ironic if 
should take a look at my channel, but bigger names need to be held accountable for their actions. David has quite literally ruined a man's life, and we only know about it because the victim Seth himself has come out to say this. I'm not gonna lie, this whole Hollywood scene looks so much cooler when I was younger. It was all laughs and smiles, but it turns out most of it is fake. I actually remember when I wanted to become a vlogger, and I kind of visualized myself in the streets of LA. Pretty cringy, not gonna lie. Anyway, thanks for stopping by for a quick roundup. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please subscribe, I need you. With all that being said, it's been Kefren. Stay safe, have fun, be a friend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.